I have uh, questions which I'm, try I'm going to be putting together a book on spiritual masters that have influenced or that are influencing Americans today. Um, also, in a mini uh, article, I'd like to put the same thing together with just those very few that are the most important for New York Times magazine, and also I'm doing an article for um, uh, Philadelphia Magazine on the Centers of Higher Consciousness. So, um, particularly with our book in mind, these questions are to um, to let people know what Krishna, Krishna consciousness is about. So sometimes I'm going to be asking questions, or most of the times I might be able to answer them myself, or it might be a question which um, I, I know the answer to, but I'm going to have to ask ask you it as if you know it might sound as if I'm stupid, <laughs> but that's what I'm going to do. Uh, the first question could be a very long. I've got 15 questions. If I can get them all answered, I'll, be, I'll feel fat, you know just great. The first one is very basic. And what is Krishna consciousness? Krishna means God, and we are all connected with. Krishna, God. God is the original father. Uh, therefore, we have got intimate connection with Krishna. So we have forgotten it. What is Krishna? What is my connection with him? What is the aim of life? <coughs> All these questions there are, and when one becomes interested with such questions, he is called Krishna consciousness. How did uh, Krishna consciousness develop? Krishna consciousness is already there in everyone's core of heart, but due to one's uh, material condition of life, uh, he has forgotten it. So this process of chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra means to revive that consciousness. It is already there. Just like <coughs> a few days ago, these American, European boys and girls they did not know uh, who is Krishna. But now we have seen yesterday how their whole the procession, throughout the whole procession, how they are chanting and dancing in ecstasy. So do you think that is artificial? No. Artificially, nobody can chant and dance for hours together. That means the eye of Krishna It was there by the bona fide process, it is now eye That is explained. Nipta Siddha Krishna Bhakti Shatta Kavunar Sabanadi Siddha Chitte Karai Udaya. The Krishna consciousness is dormant in everyone's heart. So when he comes in contact with devotees, that is like just like to be attracted by a young girl or a young boy. It is there in the child. That small child is there. And when he will be young, then it will be awakened. It is not that artificial. Sir. So 
in association, it is awake. The potency is there already. But in good association, by hearing about Krishna, one is awakened to the status of Krishna consciousness. What is the difference between Krishna consciousness and Christ consciousness? Christ consciousness is also Krishna consciousness, but people do not follow the rules and regulations of Christianity. Therefore, they are not awake. The commandments of Christ, they do not follow. Therefore, they do not come to the standard of consciousness. What is unique about Krishna consciousness that separates it from other religions? Is it a religion? Religion means primarily to know God and love Him. That is religion. And nobody knows God and what to speak of loving. Nobody is trained that how to know God and how to love Him. They are satisfied by going to the church. O oh God, give us our daily bread. That also not everyone goes. Uh, the communist says that you don't go to the church, bread we shall supply. So poor innocent person, they get bread elsewhere, say they do not go to church. But nobody is serious to understand what is God, and how to love Him. Nobody is serious. Therefore, uh, in Bhagavatam it is said it is cheating religion. I profess some religion, but I do not know what is God and how to love Him. So that type of religion is cheating religion. And religion means to know God and love Him. But generally a man does not know what is God and what to speak of loving. So therefore that is cheating religion. But so far Christian religion is concerned, there is ample chance of understanding God, but they do not care for it. Take for example, the commandment is, thou shalt not kill. But in the Christian world, best slaughterhouses are meant. So how they can become God conscious? They disobey the commandments, do not care what Jesus called, Lord Jesus Christ has ordered. So this is not only in Christian religion, every religion is going on. It's simply robber stamp. I am Hindu, I am Muslim, I am Christian. And none of them do know what is God and how to love Him. <laughs> 